Hello friend and welcome back to the RBX Endurance series as sponsored by Player PC Gaming Made Easier. This is the uh, start procedure for the 90 minute endurance race at the Red Bull Ring. We have Mr. Bombastic here on pole for the standard. He's going to lead us around the installation lap. This is the TRA cars which are the Red Bull X 2019 standards. Uh, this recording has been lifted straight from the stream and cut down for you, so uh, because of little lag issues, there may be some picture quality problems here and there, which I apologise. Now, in the second... T At least it's a short installation lap here. It's also where the, uh, the race control radios you can hear there in the background. <laughs> Not a bit straight. <laughs> hey, what is this? Come on. You can go faster than 60. When we're not in the stacking zone. Complaints about the speed of the um, of the X2019 standards formation lap. But this is quite a short lap, so it's going to be a lot of laps over 90 minutes. Oh my God. Kaz, could you um, ease off a little bit? Get about a 10 second gap, please. Kaz is at the head of the um, the 2019 competition cars. Yeah, she got the message then. It's all good. There we go. So that's all good. Kaz backing off. To give the 2014 standards a little bit of space before they begin. So we're just under halfway through the season so far. Uh, in tier A, we have Melty dominating. See Mr. Bombastic here keeping his tyres warm. Oh. Oh. A few drivers behind so that I was looking behind me to see where Mac was. Having a few issues there at the back. Yeah, uh, because the tyre wear is on with these cars. I was, I was trying to see where Mac was and you. And you oh, it scared the poop out of me. You do have to uh, keep them warm. Especially on these installation laps. But don't worry, the tyres are going to be plenty warm once they get going. That's been one hell of a run into turn one. We've got quite a big field here for the TRA category. And then I think there's another oh. six cars for the tier B. Odd numbers are on the right, yeah. That's correct, odd numbers on the right. The, uh, the grid just sorting itself out there. Mr. Bombastic on the wrong side of the track, so he's going to get a penalty. Yes, uh, so he's saying they're, they're in the wrong order. But they are away. The race is underway. Uh, we've got one hour 26, 27 on the clock. Mr. Bombastic there with a, a good lead. <laughs> Tweetman, clearly happy with his start. Oh, C's off. And also Melty off. So we've got some, uh, some incidents with the big hitters very early on. Yeah, all we're going really slowly. Melty's about to get back onto the back of that group. Who's out wide there? Moxilla. At the start then, he wasn't. I swear someone set off, like, accelerated and then slowed down wasn't... again. The issue was the start procedure. We to be up alongside Bombastic and we were just nowhere near him. No such issues with the tier B cars, they're all the way okay. Mm, mm, in the mid, the okay. We'll take a look at that after the race. The, uh, the... Yes. I think the race control radio, always very busy at the start of a race. by over a minute. <laughs> Uh, the cars at the cars are at the head of the field, points-wise, are going to be starting on harder tyres than the cars which are low on points. That's where we're in a ballast system. Yeah. If they hit Melty in with damage already on lap one, uh, well, lap, lap one for us, if you don't count the uh, installation lap. So Melty dropping right down the order. He's going to have a mountain to climb to get back up from that. You're looking at the three twist in that place. Uh, nope, I don't know why that was a replay, but it was. It's Daniel Legend, who's currently leading in the competition class, Tier 2. It's clearly Kaz has had some sort of a drama because she's fallen right back. It's a long race, anything can happen. Am I going to tell you that? There's uh, Tweetman being asked about his fuel strategy. I'm saving spins is what I'm doing! <laughs> 
these three very close together, Kevman, Seas and Tweetman. Tweetman wasn't ahead of this group in third place. Kevman was going up his inside. Anything happened? I think Tweetman just put the power on too soon. Tyre's not quite to temperature yet. Raging. Did well to keep it going in the right direction. But that's a big loss from third to sixth. I said before though, long race. Lots to happen. Some strategies to play out. Uh, but this this short lap is is a very stark contrast to the other tracks we've been at, which have provided much longer um, much longer straights and also much longer laps for factoring in fuel. We're only about five minutes in and we're on lap four, so they're really going to be ticking those laps. They're going to be absolute experts in this track by the end of it, in theory. And my apologies for sounding a bit nasal. I've, I've got a bit of a, a congestion issue at the moment, which I apologise unreservedly. Sees on the back of Kevman looks like he's lining up, but Kevman also looks like he's lining up Sophie. So these three could be in for a long battle, could be for a really good battle. But I'm going to keep an eye on the change of direction of those cars. It's absolutely amazing. Kevman having a look at Sophie. Can he get up the inside into this last section? A little bit of contact. That Kevman backed out of it a little bit there. Oh, Sophie out very wide. I think Kevman realised he was pushing her out and uh, lifted off there. So that's about the way they work. Tweetman is catching up using this straight and he'll use the next straight as well to uh, pull himself in. Oh, Kevman gets on the curb there. That allows the seas past. Kevman gets into the slipstream and might try and come back at the end of this straight. Oh, they both passed Sophie, I think. Tweetman in the mix as well. You can't go three wide into that corner. That does not work. Uh, Kevin got shuffled to the back there. Sophie managed to maintain fourth and sees... Sorry, Kev, that was rude. I just didn't expect it to break so early. Sees up to third. Apology there from Tweetman about that uh, that particular move. Which was a little bit rude, but it was, uh, it was all good racing. Let's look back through the order. What has happened to Golfie? If anything. Oh, that same spot again, the Tweetman also lost the back end. <coughs> so Golfie's allowed quite a few people through because he tries to get going there. He's going slowly and safely, which is great. Good sportsmanship. Kevin seems to be dropping off the back of, uh, of this fight here with Tweetman having a look at Sophie into turn one, thinks better of it. Uh, oh, drivers using as much of the road there as possible to try and get as much momentum as they can onto this back straight. Uh, so for a penalty, so Sophie took too much. She's going to try burning that off with a bit of lift and coast. Oh, two one loses the back end. And Kevin almost collects him. Bumping into you a little bit. Bit of a racing incident there. So two one come back underneath him. I don't know, but... Melty back up to nine, so Melty's already cleared the uh, the tier B cars. I lost the downforce behind Sophie into the corner. So much has happened in this first nine minutes. It's hard to know where to look. I arrived look at the end of the penalty zone, you know, I'm like right at the end. Roxilla now, right on the back of Treatment. Treatment with the mediums, Roxilla with the softs. This is the view from Roxilla's cockpit. Give you some indication of just the sheer speeds these drivers are dealing with. But they do seem to lose downforce on the corners when they're following each other. So, uh, as you saw there, Ruggs did the same speed as Tweetman, but somehow not making the corner. And the competition class, Davide chasing Daniel Legend, and they're chasing Sneak. So, very, very close at the front of this class. Sophie's still in third. Tweetman and Kevman side by side. Oh, Kevman. A little too heavy with the uh, loud pedal there. But it's all good. Still pointing in the right direction. Can you have a look at treatment to this corner? Oh, lots of respect shown there. Good, clean racing. Don't let him settle in, Cass. Words of encouragement from Roxilla. His, uh, his teammate at uh, Race Asylum. Sophie there, sweeping past Kaz. To, to lap terrible. one, already on lap seven. Idiot. Gives you an idea of the difference in speed between the two classes. 
Kevnar seems to be lining up treatment once again. This is a great battle. Oh, it's going to go up too wide there. No. Oh, the guy. <laughs> That's Rockzilla. He's getting the mix. I was like, why is Rockzilla going so slow? <laughs> a bit of a uh, identity issue there. Let's take him one of the Class B eating brick cars for the Class A eating brick car. The strategy better pay off. <laughs> so I can say. I think we're doubting his, his strategy very well in the race. Maybe. Uh, Rocks are out a bit wide there. Just the two uh, race asylum cars don't want to be fighting each other at this point in the race. And we're trying to work together. Just seem as though treatment's holding them at bay with the, the harder tyre compound, so... They'll be lifting and coasting into quite a few braking zones as well, I think. A little bit of tactical advice there from Rockzilla. Uh, I don't think we've got Kevman's radio audio. Oh, okay, there we go. So we're not hearing both sides of that conversation. It does look as though treatment's starting to pull away now, perhaps being a little bit more aggressive with the throttle. Oh. Van and Kevman. Godzilla complaining about Dirty Air, we talked about that earlier. These cars just not good around this circuit when they're following each other. It's something we've not seen so far this season. So we are only 11 and a half minutes in and the action is frantic. Oh, Godzilla, they're missing his breaking point. Oh, Kevman breaking early. Oh, Kevman's gone round. Bye, Kev. My fault. <laughs> sure, already. Oh, it sounds as though Rocks will put a squeeze on Kevman. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> we can. Is Kevman about to enter that braking zone? Rockzilla approaching very fast. Uh, Rockzilla has to bail out. Kevman goes tight to let Rockzilla through, and I think it just spooked him off the track. So that is Kevman out of that battle with Tweetman. Down in seventh. Battle of the Mans is unfortunately uh, war to a halt. Hey, hey, Melty has come from the back to just two and a half seconds behind McFlurry Twist, so he's absolutely motoring. As your race leader sees, comes into the pits. Going super soft because this is his yep. uh, first race for this series. And Tweetman takes the lead on lap 15. 18 and a half minutes into the race. Uh, Tweetman yet to pit. He's on racing mediums, so he's... He's handicapped because of the number of points he's got. Oh, that's the fastest first sector we've seen so far. So Tweetman starting to push, putting off the rest of that fuel. Sees comes out of the pits in third place. So he's done well with that. Come out ahead of They Heat Melty. Can Melty do something spectacular? We've seen him. Tweetman must have been saving fuel like crazy. So I'm saving fuel like I'm saving fuel like crazy, and he's done two more laps than I did. Hi, JDP. So there we hear Bear Rockzilla talking about the fact that he's been. JDP says hello, everybody. Hello. He's been saving fuel, uh, and somehow his, his fuel strategy isn't quite as good as the cars in front of him. So uh, let's see how that plays out. Maybe some of the drivers more hooked up with their cars than others. Hi, there we go. The Ascari. Big crew there, waiting for Tweetman. Mr. Bombastic coming around that final corner. So it looks like Mr. Bombastic is going to retake the lead of this race. But he has got uh, C's right behind him. And it looks as though that fresh set of tyres is oh my God, this takes so going to happily carry C's past Bombastic and into the lead. But look out, because they hate Melty's on far behind. He's completely um, out of sync with his pit stops. So we're not going to know how that plays out with Day Hate Melty until the very end of the race. We have a car off in the middle sector. Not quite <laughs> sure who that was. I think it's one of the um, competition cars. See, so it's like to draw up behind Mr. Bombastic. But we've got a tow, but at the same time, is he going to have issues with Dirty Air? So wait and see. They hate Melty closing in fast as well. So this could be about to become a three-way battle for the lead of this race. Oh, that was so close there with the back markers.
not a lot of respect being shown here for the bank markers as the, uh, the adrenaline takes over at the front of the field. Oh, Mr. Mastic for some reason has damage. He's, he's clipped something. Probably a back marker. So, Mr. Bombastic there struggling for front end grip. Here comes Melty, but Melty is running out of fuel and tyre. He's got to pit very, very soon. Treatment, Sophie, Roxilla all together on the track. Even after 22 minutes of racing, they're still close. So, that's, that's a great effort by everybody. Shows the real skill and consistency of these drivers. We're about to end the 17th lap. Here's Kevman, he's chasing down Golf Nut Pro. We'll wait and see who comes out of that better. Look for a twist down in ninth. Currently the last place car in the, uh, the standard category. Winning the competition category at the moment is Sneak, followed by Daniel Legend in the uh, Race Asylum cars. And then John Boy. Oh, but look at this. Mr. Bombastic now has sees right behind him. But Melty is less than a second behind this battle. It's all about to get very, very spicy. I'm sure that C's going to be hoping that Bombastic peels off into the pits. He does not. Uh, Melty does, however. Melty peels off into the pits. Mr. Bombastic gets a penalty. Uh, he doesn't have to serve it just here. The domain area for serving that penalty is just here on the right-hand side. But it's going to allow Seas to just cruise past, retake the lead of this race. A what a drive he's having. What's important right now is where is They Hate Melty, your current championship leader, going to come out after his pit stop. Oh my god, I've turned Sophie behind me for several laps. I'm so scared. Team was a little bit concerned there, about to lose out to Sophie in the Team Brick car. Mr. Bombastic is, is keeping going with that damage. Really feeling that a loss of downforce on the front end isn't too bad when compared to the sheer amount of time it takes to get into the pits. Uh, looks like Team was lost out to Sophie. I'm sure last time I looked was ahead of Sophie, so uh, Sophie on the move, and Roxilla there trying to chase down Tweetman. Tweetman on the racing soft tyres, he did stand on the radio like he was trying to do a lot of uh, fuel saving, but has he done too much? Melty and Golf got pro battling, not enough better in that particular scrap, let's have another look, it was Golfy serving a penalty. Oh, was Melty serving a penalty? Great, lots of respect shown there. Plenty of space between the two of them. That's what we like to see. Can Melty now get on with it? Golf Top Pro's going to have to um, hit soon. Melty won't. Tweetman right on the back of Sophie's car now. Getting pulled along. Roxilla either can't quite catch up or he's just hanging back. Preserving his tyres or preserving his fuel. We shall wait and see. Once again, Tweetman, fastest driver in that first sector. He's really got that T1 hooked up. If we taking the defensive line. As we jump to Bombastic. Now, Tweetman can't quite make it happen. There's just, uh, just two seconds between these three cars here. Sophie, Tweetman and Rockzilla. Exasperated blow there, sounded like it was tweeting on the radio. Uh, wanted to come past. Mr. Bombastic in the pits. Oh, and Davide's around. How has that happened? He was being passed by Kevman. He was just lapping, nothing else. And then it looked like as soon as Kevman swept across the front of Davide's car, the downforce was just gone. The dirty air was just so extreme. So that's unfortunate for Davide, he's got damage after that. Oh, Roxilla's off. Roxilla in sixth place is off. What happened there? So he's chasing Sophie. Ready into this heavy downhill braking zone. And he's just not quite hit the brakes hard enough. Yeah, I couldn't see this guy. 
already lapping me. Uh, Robson was there to say he's, he's now a lap down. So C has lapped everybody up to up to fifth position, which is just incredible pace. Uh, 35 minutes of this race gone. Oh, Kevin in the barrier with damage. Oh, Kevin, how's that happened? So we've got into Golf Nut Pro Slipstream. It's like uh, Kevin perhaps trying to come in for a move. Maybe not. Got a lot of speed through there. But for the first sector, was that too much curb? Oh, it's too much curb on the outside. You clip that, you just lose the rear grip as you accelerate. So, unfortunate for Kevman. And there we see McFlurry Twist in seventh, who's actually out of fuel. Oh, unlucky. So, McFlurry Twist is miscalculated. Uh, he's still ahead of Golfie, but will he be after his pit stop? That's the question. Have they had another incident? Yeah, he's gone out wide, hit the kerb. Oh, he almost caught it. That was a little chaotic. He did. What an amazing catch. 360 and then just gets on with it. That's probably the best save we've seen of the season. And if there are points for it, he'd be getting some. 51 minutes in, almost 52 minutes. We've got Roxilla hunting down Sophie. This, of course, an endurance race, and some, some drivers are faster towards the end, some are faster at the start. Boxer, it looks like, is faster at the, at the end. Less than a second behind Sophie. What can he do into this tight, heavy braking zone? Oh, Sophie's out very wide. Boxer, able to stay with her. Sophie in the race racing super soft. Just under half a tank of fuel. It's good to go for quite a while. Oh, that's a very smooth line through there for Roxilla. He's hungry. Just over half a tank of fuel for Roxilla. So not much in it with, uh, with the strategy for these two. Both drivers out wide. Roxilla desperate to hang on to that, uh, that slipstream. Of course, they're both getting a penalty there. Really, neither of them has lost out. It's all about who's more intelligent when it comes to burning the penalty. We shall see. As Tootman pits from second place. Can Roxilla stay with Sophie? It looks like it. Just over three tenths of a second. This battle is not going away anytime soon. Sophie, the only driver in this grid who's carrying the Walsh flag. It looks right up Sophie's gearbox. I can't. Rugs are there complaining he can get close to, to uh, Sophie but can't get past her. I just can't get close enough to make a there move. There you go. Uh, this is a very twisty section of the track. That's what happens when you get a short lap. You come across those twisty sections much quicker. And that's when the downforce goes on these cars. You've got to be joking. Oh, that didn't work out for Rugs oh, at all. Unlucky. You have to fall back. So. Frustration and fatigue begin to set in there for Roxilla. Very unfortunate. A little further back, we've got Golf Nut Pro. Closing on McFlurry Twist. These both SSBB drivers. Have they got team orders? Well, right now, McFlurry Twist got a penalty, so he's lost all that momentum. Golf Nut Pro's going to swing past. Flurry twist, he's got that slipstream. He's going to use it into the first corner. Oh! Oh no, Golfy covered that off very Why late. Are they pitching? What? And, uh, and the two of them came together. It looks like the Flurry twist is uh, big on his way. That's definitely worth another look. Let's see what happened from Golfy's point of view. Looking back, so the Flurry twist closing in with the overspeed. Oh no. Not gosh. sure if Golfy actually moved twice there. Either way, he gave up the space, uh, the place rather. And McFlurry Twist now scampering off ahead. That was going to be a fastest lap as well. Oh, I missed it. Something happened with Kaz there. Oh, that was close behind Sophie. Kaz is tucking in there to get some slipstream from Sophie's <laughs> faster car. And got Roxella coming through now. That looked okay to me. I think Roxella is just a little bit uh, tightly wound right now. 
the adrenaline there, keeping him uh, fueled, shall we say. Mr. Bombastic, he's going slowly. What's happened to him? Take a look. We're going down to that uh, downhill braking zone again. Oh, and once again, it's a little bit, a little bit too much of that uh, accelerator. But good throttle control. Oh, until there. That's what happened. Off into the gravel. Unfortunate. We've seen Mr. Bombastic have uh, little incidents towards the end of races before. I think it's a stamina issue. Sees pits. There's only 30 minutes remaining, so this is going to be the final pit stop. Well, sees. They hate Melty. We've not talked about him. He's come all the way up from last place after that pit stop. The second. Albeit a minute down, but he's got to be happy with his performance. This is going to do wonders for his championship. Got a yellow flag up ahead. That's a car off. That is Golfy. Who has been through the gravel and out of fuel. Oh, unfortunate for Golfy. These things do happen. Box it up. Makes for to come past because it is difficult when you've got so little speed to actually drive safely and carefully. Friedman's made it past, back past Melty during the pit stops. Uh, that's what I was saying earlier about the uh, the pit stop strategies being out of sync with Melty. Let's see if we make it to the end of this race. Two and a half minutes, definitely. Definitely can make it to the end. But almost a minute behind C's, there's very little chance of him being able to catch up unless C's had some sort of terrible incident. I don't think he's likely at this stage. Uh, Twitman is chasing down seven place for a twist. These two cars, of course, in the same category, but Tweetman having the, the better strategy of these two today, especially since McFlurry Twist had the, the fuel incident earlier, uh, which I think probably wasn't part of the plan. And there we go, Tweetman's passed. Uh, the uh, the blue flag rules in the series are a little bit loose. It gives people a chance to actually race. But of course, McFlurry Twist there, recognising the situation and uh, moving over. Sophie in sixth. She's having a lonely race now. She's had a lot of action today, but uh, now she's all on her own. Just like C's in first place, all on his own. In his debut race in this series, and uh, I want to race it's been for him. So uh, he's so far ahead of everybody, he hasn't got a, a split to Tweetman because he's lapped Tweetman. He's lapped everybody on track. We have a new contender, ladies and gentlemen. Roxilla in fourth. Had a good, uh, good comeback drive after some early incidents. He's done well. Uh, 26 seconds behind Melty, but 21 seconds ahead of Bombastic. Here's Bombastic. All the drivers now spread out. Just trying to get these cars home with the right amount of fuel. Sophie in sixth. Flurry Twist seventh. In eighth, we've got Kevman. He's the uh, he's the last of the standard drivers today. We've got Sneak leading the competition drivers. 50 seconds ahead of Daniel Legend, so he's done really well. Don't think I've got a top. John Boy in 11th. And... Uh, We're going over the line with 0 0.9 laps of fuel left. John Boy, the, the last driver on track. We have lost three drivers through retirement. It is very grueling. That does happen. <clears throat> but sees on his final lap, lap 75. This one hour and 30 minute race. It has been grueling. Mr. Bombastic is home fifth place. He's the first driver to uh, take the checkered flag. And then we've got Tweetman finishing second. Oh, 7038. Yeah, well, so, so close. Uh, only able to get the fastest lap. That fast he was lap. trying to get there. Wow, oh, there's no water. Before it was seventh, they hit multi third. Seas is your race winner. Whoop. For the SSBB team. Well done. You're legends. Absolutely fantastic action. And heroes. It's about to cross the line. We've got uh, Sophie in sixth. And Kevin's finished eighth. And Seas, that was an excellent debut race. I think Rockstar is going to finish fourth. Fantastic racing action. 0.1 laps of fuel left over the line. What a great day for SSBB. I don't know Everyone. whether to be happy or sad. 
I had really good pace, but I got claimed on lap one by McFlurry spinning across the track. Oh dear, Melty there is sounding a little bit uh, for that, to be honest. What So, Tweetman now one point ahead of They Hate Melty in the TRA standings. Uh, McFlurry third, Roxella fourth, but after that uh, debut, C's jump straight into fifth. TB, Daniel Legend, one point ahead of John Boy. And then uh, the Vest in third, Sprinkler fourth, Kaz in fifth. This point's very similar to the tier A's. Dens leads the tier C after their race, which was in a different lobby. And then Zafridge, Louis Gurnell, Zote, and Mackie. And in the Constructors' Championship, well, Race Asylum lead by five points to Red Bull Endurance team. Then SSBB team one, Ascuri, SSBB team two, and E team Brit bring up the rear. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the race. We'll join in for all the next ones too. Thank you to my Discord. Thank you to all the drivers. Thank you to you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself, be good to those around you. Bye-bye for now.